Hey Taurus, welcome to your weekly reading for November 11th to the 18th. I am Charlene Lazette. The 11-11 portal is being activated and this is quite the week of enacting massive change in everyone's life. It's up to you if you're going to jump through that portal, you're going to walk through the gateway and manifest your dream life. So let's dive in and see what's going on in the cords for you, my Taurus, okay? My beautiful Taurus, I love you guys. You guys are the sweetest. My son Charlie is a Taurus and, um, you know, he's just, just a kind of buck. Okay, who, who, who is stubborn as fuck, okay? <laughs> and I'm talking to you, because I know you're watching this going, uh-huh, I am. Okay, 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 oh, 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 what? Un segundo, por favor, one, two, three, four, five, six. Mm, okay, here is what I'm going to say. We're having this really powerful transit with Pluto moving into Aquarius. Pluto is an energy. The more I study it, the more I'm like, damn, Pluto. You don't gotta be that way, okay? Pluto is this energy that is just, it happens for us. There's really nothing we can do. It's like, let go, like God, surrender to the process, embrace the transformation kind of thing. Even, even if it's like a little bit bumpy, even if it's like a little bit uncomfortable, just whatever whatever you know just 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 do it just make it happen okay like it's one of it's one of those energies pluto moving into um aquarius this year this year this month actually this week okay and then we have um yeah it's this week right i feel like it is correct me if i'm wrong if you know i'm wrong okay in the comments but anyways this pluto energy moving okay the 11 11 portal then we have venus moving your your sign venus is your girl okay moving into this practical pragmatic energy of capricorn is initiating this great change in the collective and specifically for you too being ruled by venus you lucky duckies okay you really can call in whatever you desire in this life you you basically have our girl venus go in what do you desire let me make it a reality and a lot of you got to learn to tap into that what i'm seeing this week honestly the cards are juicy i ain't gonna lie I'm trying to like calm down with the dramatics, but I can't because it's just who I am. You know, like this is actually me on a regular basis. No joke. Okay. Like, yeah, obviously I can be like so stoic and so cool, but then goofy Charlene comes out. I just, I can't help it. Okay. So what I'm seeing here is this incredible, incredible shift. And what you are doing this week is you're moving from this complacency potentially even stagnation and unhappiness to like live in the vida loca, you know, like live in your best life. And I want to bring a couple of things up for you that I think we need to talk about before we dive into the cards. Number one is the fact that your astrology card, okay, tarot cards, we're doing mantra cards now. The astrology card is the fourth house. The fourth house in astrology is the IC. The IC is the Imunculi. The Imunculi is your roots. It is your upbringing. It is your home. It is what you see as safety or security or what you had available to you, okay? This is comfort. This is mama, tradition, and lifestyle. It's our roots. It's where we come from. And for a lot of people, the roots were not the safe place. And the roots were supposed to be the safe space, right? And what you're learning right now this week is that a lot of the shit that happened to you when you were little in what was supposed to be your safe space or your home created a lot of fucking trauma and insecurity for you. And so now that you know, and now that you're able to practice awareness, and now that you're able to see things for what they are, what are you going to do about it? That's the question. What are you going to do about it? You have a choice now. Right. You know, not to bring up politics because I ain't into the politics conversation. I posted a video over on, on, on my Instagram about it. And I said, you know, spirit, politics have no place in spirituality because spirituality or politics is divisive and spirituality is about connected connection. I'm connected to you, even though I don't know you and you don't know me. We're connected to each other. That's why you're watching my content. And that's why I'm reading this for you. 
And politics isn't like that. But I said in the video, I said, if you are surrounding yourself around people or you have people in your immediate environment, okay, that are freaking out and losing their bananas, crying, hysterical, being like extremely un, un like even keel because of the results of the election, okay, you need to ask yourself why. Because those are not people that are safe. Those are not people that are secure. Those are not people that are stable. Those are not people that are rooted and grounded. We can be pissed off. Trust me, trust you. When the elections happened up here in Canada, I was not a happy camper. When I found out who, what was going on in my city, my, I was not a happy camper. Because the decisions are not decisions that I would want for my community, for my son, for my family. Right? But there's reaction and then there's responding. And you're learning this week that whatever happened to you when you were little caused you to react in ways that were not supportive for your highest good. And so now you get to rewrite the story and that's where the magic happens, okay? Denial, I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the inside of awareness. So how many of you were about to click off going, I don't want to talk about this. I don't want to she's playing this app. Anyways, you know you're going to stay because I love you and you love me and this is a safe space, okay? Then we have, I remember, soul plan, the faded life versus the destiny life. Some big shit right there, right? Because what this is saying to you is that you had fate and then you have destiny. Fate are the things that are designed to teach you something. Destiny is where you're going to go anyways. We start off with the five of cups here. Morning. I always say this is like the is this happening to me? Well, it's happening for you, not to you. It's showing you that there's always opportunity in life. What is this? This is you, right? There's always opportunity in life. Everything is about perspective. I could turn around and tell you that, oh my God, why am I working so late? I'm so tired. Or I can turn around and say, I'm so excited that I get to create this content for you. And I love being able to be of service to you. Two different stories, two different pathways, two different outcomes, two different results. Then we have judgment and the queen of pentacles. When I tell you, you're in your power, bro. You are in your power here. It's like, I don't know, maybe it's this video. I would like to think that it is, but maybe it's something inside of you, a reprogramming, a rewiring, a wake up call. And you're like, oh, I mean, this is a wake up call. Judgment is a wake up call. And it propels you towards focusing on your financial stability, your financial security, your wealth, your success, and everything that is beautiful and comforting and feels safe and secure for you. You are literally, literally, I just realized this, literally creating the safety and security you wanted as a little one we're not gonna cry eight of swords I want you to reprogram rewrite okay actually at the end of this video I'm gonna pop a video on 11 11 in this video I teach you how to rewrite rewrite your story that's what we're doing here no more this no more pain no more suffering no more sadness we are stepping into our power here and with the nine of cups and the hermit the more that you illuminate this energy of desire of wish fulfillment of what you truly want to call in manifest and attract into your life okay the more powerful that you will become they go hand in hand my love okay the more that you're able to go inward and see what needs to be rewired what you need to rework where the trauma is where the suffering is where you gotta mature and grow up and shift perspective the more success you will have and look before we dive into your love reading you got the um you got victoria victoria is all about um being victorious in life when you tune into source consciousness that's some big energy right there. Some big, big energy. All right. We've got, whoop, can you calm the frick down? We've got, what do we got here? What do we got? We've got the, we got hair, my hair, forever shutting, forever shutting. Okay. We've got the page of pentacles, the cherry and the high priestess. Oof. I love it. I love it a lot. This to me indicates that you are taking control of your love life. You're taking control of your romance. You are making solid decisions and solid choices to help you attract what you desire. What do we got here? The Ten of Wands, the Two of Swords. Yeah. Goodbye to the Riff Raff. I don't buy that. Sorry, my voice cracked. Four, four Pentacles. Yeah. You're really in this path here towards understanding that just because somebody gives you attention does not mean that they deserve a millisecond of your time if they are not respectful or worthy of you. If they don't hit your standards, if they're not a match vibrationally, energetically, 
don't waste your time. I think a lot of you are really coming back to self, tuning into your personal power and manifesting your dream life, baby. And sometimes that means we gotta isolate from the distractions. And sometimes love is a distraction, right? saying it how it is okay here is that video on the 1111 portal thank you for your likes your comments your shares your subscribes if you want to book a session you need some clarity it's down there on the description box below we'll see you later alligator peace out bye